Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 3.11 a.m. Central Time on Monday, December 9th, 2013. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. And you can see a series of earthquakes have now occurred just south of Yellowstone National Park. And a 4.2, 3.2, and a 3.9 in succession over the last 24 hours. And that's pretty significant to see on top of what happened the day before. We saw a 4.0 followed by a series of 3.0s occur in Oklahoma and a 3.7 in North Texas. Now these are all fracking earthquakes. We already looked those up. I put together a post on my website showing you the frack well that's the nearest spot. Uh, the USGS has updated this information from two days ago and moved the area entirely, but it still falls right next to a frack well. So I think they determined which frack well it came from in Oklahoma, or at least you hope they would. And uh, up here to the northwest, I have Google Earth open now, so let's go ahead and look this up. And the way you do this, guys, is just go ahead and pull the coordinates from the USGS and plot them in on Google Earth. Okay. So this will just show you what's in the surrounding area. And of course, there's not much going on here man-made wise, but it is just south of the park. Um, let's go ahead and look and see how far that is mile wise. It's about 80 miles south. Okay, so that's fairly far, but uh, definitely still part of the uh, overall volcanic complex. The volcanic chain they found goes all the way down, stretching down into Idaho, and we're talking past eruptions of Yellowstone, and we don't have time to go look that up now, but if you're interested, I'll put some links down below for Yellowstone. Uh, let's go back over and take a look at Earthquake 3D. This is the overall edge of the craton. As I explained in my previous post on my website, and this is the USGS confirmation of fracking earthquakes occurring in Oklahoma, but I put together this graphic here to show you the North American craton. And here's the defined edge, and it goes all the way up here to the Pacific Northwest, south through Texas and Louisiana, and then curls up the East Coast. And we've got Yellowstone, right here along the edge. So we had movement along the southern edge, and again that's Texas, Oklahoma, and that was the 4.0 activity we just looked at here. And then that was subsequent movement occurring at Yellowstone. And this is kind of a uh, transfer effect that's going on here, guys. It started last week with a 5.5 that occurred off the west coast. It's no longer on the map here. As a matter of fact, we can go look that up really quick. And then you can see it. And we'll turn it down for the full 30 days. So there you have it. 5.5 kicked it off. That took it down to Oklahoma, which kicked off several multiple 3.0 earthquakes, building up to the 4.5. And as I said in my post, I'm not trying to brag or anything here, guys, but set it, watch Yellowstone, watch the fracking operations, those are the areas that are showing movement when the craton is under pressure. And again, that craton is the defined edge of the craton that's showing that pressure via earthquakes. It doesn't help that they're actually drilling into it in the south. Okay, they're actually riddling it with small shafts miles deep. But we don't have time to go into that here. Just watch the area now. Now that we've seen this kind of movement, and let me take you back to the last seven days now. It says, watch out for further movement in areas that haven't experienced movement yet. Okay, so you see this 3.5 up here to the northwest. Then we have the 4.2 and 3.9 here at Yellowstone, 4.5, 3.7 here at Texas, Oklahoma. Areas that have not had earthquakes recently, that would be Arkansas reaching up to the east coast, right up here along the edge of the craton. We need to watch from here down in the southwest all the way up to the northeast up here into Canada. And we had those multiple 4 and 5.0 earthquakes that happened last year and in 2011 up here in Canada and in Virginia, which caused damage in the capital. And we saw the same kind of activity beforehand. 
So that's something to watch out for. I'm not saying it's going to repeat itself. You hope it doesn't. And I'll put links down below also, guys. So if you guys are curious and you want to start monitoring these things yourself, I've provided many links that will get you going. Now, there's many more I'm sure that you'll find in your quest to find this information. It's not all in one place, folks. You have to do this searching yourself. Much love. Be safe. Always have an earthquake plan ready and be prepared just in case.